Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. In today's video, I'll be talking about data structures. Uh, so there's four built-in data structures. We have lists, we have tuples, sets, and uh, dictionaries. But today I'm just gonna cover the uh, list and uh, a little bit of tuples. So first, a list in Python is a built-in data structure that allows you to store related items in one variable. So the, the items you store in a list at uh, mute, mutable that means you can you can change them around you can you can add to the list you can remove items so the the difference between a, a list and a, a, a tuple is that a tuple is immutable once you create it you can't make any changes to it so the items you can store or the objects you can store in a, in a list can be of the same kind or uh, of the same type like integers lists uh, strings you can even have a list inside a list even a dictionary inside a list you're not just restricted to just one 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 type or the same type in a list okay so to create a new list i mean to create an empty list there's two ways here i have the first example a list is just going to contain items that are inside two brackets they are enclosed inside two square brackets then the items themselves are going to be separated using a comma so in this one here i just have an empty list that's how you create it and then i print it and that's what you get another way to create it is just here just say list and that should also create an empty list for you this is what an, em an empty list looks like you can also derive a list from let's say a, a string let's say for instance if here we have let's create a string here and call it on my string This is a string. Then here I'll create my list, and then I just derive this from the my list here from this string. Then I can print uh, my list here. And this is the list that we got from. Uh, this stream. Now, when it comes to uh, the methods available to work with the strings, uh, there's quite a few. To see the entire list, you can you can use the um, the I then list. And these are the methods. The ones you want to focus on here are these right here. So I just cover a few of them briefly here: append, uh, remove, insert. So right and close this. So here I have a list already created. Now let's say list one. Then I have list two. So when it comes to working with the methods, we'll cover some of the methods available for lists. We'll start with append. So I have list one here. I'm just gonna append five to the list. Or let's just do a different number here. Let's say seven. That should be added. Append adds uh, an object to the end of the list. So now seven is added. Remove is gonna remove the first occurrence of an item. So here, let's say we wanna remove three from the list. We'll just put three there and it should be removed from that list. Okay, next we'll work with insert, which uh, allows you to insert an object in, into a list. Here you have to specify the position. Let's say here, we want to insert, let's say, 8 in position 1. And since it comes from 0, then 1, it should be inserted here. And there you have 8. Next, we'll use pop. And what pop does, by default, if you don't put anything, uh, if you, you don't specify any attributes, it's going to remove the last item, and then it's going to re return that item. So here you can say, item last pop is going to pop the last item and then it's going to assign it here to the, the variable last item and then i'm going to print them out so it popped it out and then i printed it out you can also specify the position where you want to pop the item from Let's say you want to pop, uh, pop position zero, first item. 
she removed one and here one is gone now the last method we'll look at is uh, extend which pretty much just um, adds uh, another object onto uh, a list so here I have list one and list two if I wanted to extend uh, if I wanted to add list two to the end of list one what I'll do I'll just call on uh, list one and then say extend then specify list two let's see if that works and as you can see added the last this here to the the end of list one okay another uh, aspect to do with lists that I wanted to talk about is the square bracket notation what this does is it's going to allow you to refer or select objects from within the list uh, using the uh, square bracket notation so the syntax is just you you uh, place the in the, ne the name of the list and then square brackets and then inside of it you put the index or the location of the item you're, you're trying to select so like for this list here nums if i wanted to select the first item i'll use index zero i'll say nums and then square brackets inside i put zero if i wanted to refer to the last item i'll just i'll use minus one because uh, lists in python allow you to specify index in 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 a reverse direction starting from minus one minus two which starts from the end uh backwards so if if I go ahead and print uh, the first number and the last number, let's see what we get. We're getting two here and three. Next, we'll look at the, the slice notation. The slice notation is going to allow you to specify items like a section of the list it's going to allow you to pull a section of the list say for instance if i have list one here i can add say five six seven and eight and maybe i just wanted to pull the last three items from the list say slides notation so what this does it allows you to specify a start uh, stop stop location and then a step how many um, strides you want to take so let's say like I said if you wanted to pick just the last three items you can say I'll uh, say list one uh, use the slice notation so this is zero one two three four five I'm gonna start at five and then I'm gonna end since I'm ending at the end, I don't have to specify anything. That should give me just the six, seven, eight. If I wanted to get the entire list, I, I don't need to put anything inside the slice. And that should give me the entire, I don't have to specify the start or the stop. However, if I wanted to step maybe two, let's say I wanted to get the entire list, but in steps of two, so I'll get one and then it's going to step two. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give me three. Step two, give me five. So if I put that step there, it gives me one, three, five, and seven. Okay, so that's all. Uh, just one other item. So another aspect of list I wanted to cover was the for loop. We can use the for loop to just loop through the list and print whatever items or pull whatever items you want you have in the list. So here I have letters A, B, D. And then for letter in letters, I can print A, B, C, uh, D using that loop, the for loop. And that's that's it right there. Okay, finally, we'll, we'll talk briefly about um, the tuples. So tuples, are, a tuple is an ordered building data structure in Python that once it's created, you cannot change uh, the objects inside of it that means it's immutable uh, you can think of it as a like a constant list 
Uh, there could be cases where you want those items not to be changed in your code, either by yourself or by anybody else that's working or using the code. And you create the tuple using a parenthesis here instead of square brackets. And then you just separate the items, again, the objects using commas. Since the, the immutable means that there's only a few methods available that you can use with tuple. The two main ones I can cover here is the count method and then the index method. So the count method is just going to re return the number of occurrences of, a, of an object inside a, a tuple. And then the, the index is just going to return the first index of a value. So for instance here, if I wanted to print the, inde the index or the position of uh, B, I just uh, write the, the name of the, the tuple here, letters.index, and then put in the object that returns one. You can change that to C. That's going to be two for this one. You can also count, return the count for C. And that's two for A. It's going to be one. So that's that's pretty much it for this video. In my next video, I hope to cover the uh, the other two data structures, which are the sets and the dictionary. So I hope this information has been useful to you. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.